The final four principles we will explore in this video help to optimize germane load. Germane load refers to the work put into creating a permanent storage of knowledge in the long-term memory. Number nine, the multimedia principle. People learn better from words and pictures than from words alone. This is the foundation of all of Mayer's principles. How to use this principle. Avoid using on-screen text alone. Include images to illustrate key points, but make sure that all images enhance or clarify the meaning of the topic or lesson. Number 10, the personalization principle. People learn best from a more informal, conversational voice than a formal voice. How to use this principle? Consider the age of your learners. Keep your language simple and casual. Avoid using complex words or overly professional text. Use first and second pronouns like you, I, we, are. This will help you connect with your learners. Number 11, the voice principle. People learn better when narration is spoken in a human voice rather than a computer voice. While there has been significant improvements with AI voices of Siri and Alexa, there is no substitution for a human voice. How to use this principle. Find a quiet space to record your narration. Consider using an external microphone instead of a built-in computer mic to ensure a high quality recording. Number 12, the image principle. People do not necessarily learn better when a speaker's image is on the screen. How to use this principle? Notice the principle says, do not necessarily learn better. So it doesn't mean you have to stop including your image. Here are some tips you can consider. Avoid including a video of yourself during an asynchronous multimedia presentation containing pictures and words. The image of the speaker can function as a distraction to some learners. When a talking head video is included alongside a slide presentation, the learner can spend more time looking at the talking head than the content on the slides. Let's take Khan Academy for example. The multimedia lessons feature the teacher's voice talking the learner through the lesson content. An image of the instructor does not appear on the screen. You can consider using your face when there are no words or pictures on the screen or if you want your students to be able to see you. Go for a plain background that minimizes distraction. Remove cluttered bookshelves, plants, photos, or other non-essential items that can distract the learner from paying attention to the content you have to share. By using these four principles, you can create multimedia lessons that maximize student learning and comprehension.